Cancer, cancer, cancer. Let's get started. What's all right? Compassion. Compassion is just showing up. Sorry, I've been shuffling the cards. Compassion showed up for Gemini. Um, compassion seems to be here. Maybe you're wanting some. Maybe you've been struggling, and it would be nice with everything that you're taking care of. But let's clarify. Well, with five of wands, the ten of swords, ten of cups, and four of cups, this feels like you've been knee-deep in it. The good news is something has ended towards this ten of cups. And you're not sure, really, if you want to take on anything. There's a lot of disinterest here. It's like you've had so much to fight for and fight against that it just kind of it's taken its toll on you it's really weird energy right now um it just yeah it just feels like you've had a bit of an ass kicking peace and friendship shows up okay so this looks this is in your desire so this looks like it is actually directly tied to what we were talking about with the Ten of Cups here and the Four of Cups. There can be rejection that's gone on um, with this desire of peace and friendship. You're holding back. You're holding your cards close to your chest. Uh, this could be you. This could be them where you're very protective as to what's going on. It looks like there is this contemplation about, do I just keep control of my emotions or do I actually go forward and make an offer? Now, this could be you. This could be them where you are just wondering what is going on. What is going on with this individual? How is this shaping up? And the King of Cups is the masculine side to your energy. Now, interestingly enough, when we go to the outcome, we have prosperity and love. So... Queen of Wands, Two of Cups, the Devil, and the Princess of Wands. The Prince or the Queen of Wands is a very beautiful individual, very busy, sort of the life of the crowd. The Two of Cups speaks of a relationship. The Devil can speak of uh, toxicity. And the Princess of Wands talks about practicality. So if you don't want to get stuck in the same traps when it comes to love, or same situations when it comes to love and comes to prosperity, or being an abundance of love, you need to be practical in your approach. There needs to be boundaries. There needs to be um, give and take on both sides. All of that type of stuff. One cannot just be receiving everything at the loss of every someone else. We have the ten of coins. So we have three tens on the table. For those of you that are into the numerology bit, I would suggest that you look that up. I constantly have to look it up because for some reason it is not something that sticks in my brain. Now, the Ten of Coins, the Two of Wands, the Eight of Coins, and the Seven of Wands. Stability, ease of life, comes with a choice. What are you going to work on and what are you going to fight for? That is what's working for you. So whatever you're doing in that area seems to be working for you. Now, when it comes to what you don't see or what you need to be aware of, there is the Ace of Swords. There is success in figuring this stuff out. Things are going to balance out with the Justice card here, and they're going to balance out in a major way and bring in happiness. This happiness is going to come from a new start. Keep in mind, 
This could be the calm before the storm, before you were rewarded. We have the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, the Tower, and the Ace of Wands. We have a bunch of Aces on the table as well. Now, with the Nine of Wands and the Tower, you're guarded as it is, with good reason around this love, whatever's going on. But there's going to come a time when this gets shaken up. And we can see that already with this Ace of Swords. We know that there's going to be a shakeup. We know that things are going to balance out. And with the Ace of Wands, there is this, this new beginning. And so we can see that there is a shakeup coming. And that, you know, it's okay to expect it. And realize that it's not going to break you. It's actually going to do some good things for you. And, like I said, financial health and blessings. So this whole thing that you may not see here, this shakeup is bringing in some really good things. You really need to keep your eyes open for that and look for that. Cancer, that's what I have for you today. Thank you all for being here. We will see you next time. Stay safe.